Salam, welcome to my class. Today we will talk about the answers to the previous grammar test that I uploaded. If you like it, please continue watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for more updates on my videos. Okay? Okay. The first one is blank, it really work. What is the answer? Of course, we have to find the subject which is actually found after the verb because this is a sentence in a question form an interrogative sentence so we have it as the subject so the answer is does does it really work okay does is also singular remember that a singular subject needs a singular verb okay Next, why blank this shirt so expensive? Again, this is an interrogative sentence. The subject is found after the verb. So, what is the verb here? This shirt. Ilang shirt ba yan? Isang shirt lang yan, no? So, the answer is, is. Alright, why is this shirt so expensive? Uh, is is singular. Katulad din ng am, kaya lang ang am ay exclusive yan na partner ng I. Okay? So, hindi pwede yung am. Is lang talaga. Why is this shirt so expensive? Okay, pangatlo. He blank him $200. So, ang ito, hindi na siya tanong. No? It's a statement. So, usually, ang subject makahanap natin sa beginning ng sentence. Ang subject dito is he, singular. Kaya dapat singular din yung, sub, yung verb natin. No? Kaya lang, ang choices natin, dalawa lang, give at saka gave. Wala tayong singular na, na verb. So, gave lang talaga ang option natin. Okay? So, he gave him $200. Kahit na wala tayong clue sa time, no? kung kailan niya binigay, kung present ba siya or past, no, kailangan gave ang sagot natin kasi yun lang ang nasa choices okay so next okay number 3 number 4 she blank all the information we needed so similar doon sa number 3 natin uh, kaya lang dito meron tayong time clue no yung word na needed ibig sabihin tapos na siya no so uh, Ang sagot natin is found. She found all the information we needed. Alright? Kasi wala naman tayong choice na finds. No? She finds all the information we needed. Mali din yun. Kasi we needed, ibig sabihin, tapos na yung action. So, found talaga. Okay. Now, number five naman, their conference blank much later okay nakita nyo ang sagot natin is began began kasi uh, simple sentence lang naman siya hindi pwede yung begun kasi wala naman tayong have verbs no kasi kung begun ang gagamitin natin dapat their conference had begun no much later pero wala namang ganon no? So, ibig sabihin, simple past tense lang siya. Next, she blank him yesterday. Okay, time clue, yesterday. Ibig sabihin, tapos na yung action. So, she didn't call him yesterday. Bakit hindi yung didn't called? Kasi, mali yun, class, no? Did, pag gumamit ka ng did, dapat base form na yung main verb mo. Okay? So, she didn't call him yesterday. Next. Okay, dito tayo sa number 7. Does he know what it is? Or does he know what is it? So, ang tamang sagot is, does he know what it is? Kasi, ito yung tinatawag nating indirect question. No? Kasi, uh, kung tatanungin mo, directa yung tao mismo, ang sasabihin mo is, what is it? ba? Pero since indirect naman siya, 
Kaya, meron tayong, does he know what is it? What it is? Sorry. Okay, does he know what it is? So, ang what it is ay tinatawag nating embedded sentence. No? Embedded sentence ang tawag dyan. Okay. Number eight. How interested blank the employees in this project? So, ang sagot is were. Bakit? Because the sentence is in the form of a question. No? And ang subject is the employees. Okay? So, klarong-klaro, ang employees ay plural. Therefore, we will need a plural verb. Were. How interested were the employees in this project? Okay? Number nine. If you say yes, she blank. Alright. If you say yes, she will go. No? Tama. Kasi, ah, uh, parang conditional yung sentence natin. Pag may nakikita tayong if doon sa sentence, no? Condition yon. So, if you say yes, she will go. It is wrong to say, if you say yes, she goes. No? Mali yon. If you say yes, she will go. Okay. Alright. So, number 10. We bought an 8 blank apartment. Ang sagot is door. No? We bought an 8 door apartment. Bakit? Kasi... Ang 8 door dito na kung napansin nyo, ito yung nakalimutan ko class sa ano sa isang sa last na video, no? Hindi ko siya nalagyan ng hyphen. Okay? So kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang hyphen, no? 8 hyphen door apartment. Ibig sabihin, yung 8 door ay nagiging adjective na nagde-describe doon sa noun natin na apartment. Naintindihan? Okay? So, we bought an 8-door apartment. Kaya, wala siyang S. No? Unlike if we say na the, the apartment has 8 doors. Diba? The apartment has 8 doors. In that case, no? Ang describe naman ng 8 ay yung pintuan. So, natural, marami talaga. Okay? Understood? Okay, so tandaan ha, kapag itong dalawang words na ito ay nagdi-describe ng isang bagay o isang tao, dapat meron siyang hyphen at saka singular dapat yung uh, last word niya, no? So, we bought an 8-door apartment. Mali if you say 8 doors apartment, okay? Klaro? Okay, salamat! Thank you for watching! Maraming salamat sa susunod ulit. Sana may, may natutunan kayo.